to our series of award-winning recipes. Today we have a very unique and a very interesting recipe. This recipe has gained so many views guys and most people that use it have something to say about it. So guess what we're gonna do? We're gonna deep dive into this award-winning recipe to see what about this recipe that makes it an award-winning one. Now it's all about hair guys. It's all about unwanted hair. Unwanted hair in areas that you know sometimes it's a struggle to get it off like you know what i'm talking about so guess what guys let's continue watching together and guess what don't forget to leave your comment on this one and if you've tried this recipe let us know your result in the comment box below and if you have not tried and is skeptical about this recipe let us know in the comment box below so what are you waiting for let's start oh before we get into this recipe if this is your first time watching welcome 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 to the series we also have other videos that you can go and watch on our channel page but we ask you to subscribe subscribe to our channel and don't forget to leave a comment and if you want to be a part of the channel you can also become a member the join button is below click on it choose a tier now let's get on with the video for this award-winning recipe we are going to be removing hair unwanted hair this award recipe calls for baking soda baking soda known as a sodium bicarbonate or bicarbonate of a soda did you know that the easiest way to remove unwanted ear is by using baking soda and plain old water for this recipe i'm using about a half a cup of the baking soda and one cup of h Oh. So we're pouring this in a bowl and these are the two ingredients that made this an award winning recipe. We're going to be doing some cooking, yes. So we're going to reach for a saucepan and I'm going to add some water to the saucepan. One cup of water, pour that in the saucepan and let it come to a boil and here you can see this is vigorously boiling and at this point is when we're going to reach for the baking soda and we're going to pour the half a cup of baking soda in that water and we are going to start and look at this reaction guys we are cooking baking soda believe it or not we are cooking baking soda and you might be wondering why you know you're cooking it what is the reason behind that but when you cook it it get rid of some of the particles and stuff like that in the baking soda that you don't need the additives that is and when it is dried down this is what it's gonna look like all we have left there is a pure baking soda that is now very much skin friendly everything that is in this baking soda that you don't need on the skin completely evolved and leave a pure baking soda and this is what you're gonna use now in this award winning video i pour the baking soda in a small bowl and take a look at that this is a small amount so i guess if you have a large batch of here you want to remove you should just double up on this ingredient but one thing you're not looking at is that this is now creamy when you mix baking soda with plain old water it is not going to be creamy the baking soda is going to settle at the bottom but when you boil the baking soda with water it becomes really really creamy and that is what separate the pure water and baking soda from boiling the baking soda so now you understand the reason for the madness this is also gonna help the baking soda to adhere to wherever you apply it on the skin if you make the baking soda with plain old water it's just gonna shell off but when you boil it and it get creamy like that it's more of a stickier consistency and this is gonna be able to stay put when you apply it to the hair so we take this baking soda we make sure that it is cooled test patch however it is good to apply when it is still very much warm so test it before you apply it to the area you're going to remove your hair from and then you're just going to take this creamy goodness and you're going to apply it all over the patch of hair and you're going to rub it on in circular motion and making sure that it gets to the root so just apply it there clean skin however 
and you're gonna use this for at least seven days straight seven days straight and then what you're gonna notice is that the hair is gonna just slowly fall off no shave no waxing just the baking soda and just this method like we did in this video this also is gonna cause the ear to take longer to grow back and if you're really coarse down there this is also gonna help to soften all right so definitely a must try and no need to store this in the refrigerator store it on your countertop when it is done go ahead and make a new batch the first time you exfoliate the area with the baking soda oh and another important thing is when you use this use it at night <laughs> yes use it at night and do not rinse it off go to sleep with it and wake up in the morning and that's when you rinse off so apply the baking soda and water mixer to dry or wet here by starting at the root and work into the end let it sit overnight then rinse with warm water do this at least i said four nights in a row but i'm telling you at least seven nights and you're on your way to clean smooth without the spike just really really smooth hair removal amazing award winning recipe and if you're skeptical about this one i want you all to comment below and if you have tried this before also comment i know some of you have tried this and i know as bit of you have seen this video before i'm gonna put the link to the original video in the description box below because you really need to watch the original after you finish watching this one and what you do also guys just share this one share it on your social media page and don't forget to leave that comment because i know those comments are going to be coming and there you have it thank you all for watching you like the video don't forget to give it a thumbs up don't forget to share and don't forget to leave your comments